If it doesn't look good while you're shooting, it's not gonna look good while you're editing. It's better that you have them do it a bunch of different times over and over again until you get the one that you're like, okay, if I saw this right now on TV, would I actually connect with that? That's what you're looking for. So today we're doing a behind the scenes to show you guys how we light up our green screens. And the setup for this today, we have the Sony a7 III, we have a teleprompter setup, and then for lighting, we pretty much have one key light, which we're using the Aperture 120D Mark II, so one of our stronger lights to cast the key light over the spokesperson. And then we're having two newer lights. When you know that you have a good key light, is when you actually don't have any shadows coming from your character here, because when you do have shadows, that's what causes those imperfections in your green screen. So you're gonna have a nice even light. Other things you gonna keep in mind, you wanna make sure that you have distance between your background and your foreground. If you have somebody too close to the green screen, you don't have any sense of depth. And also being here, you might see that you create shadows on the green screen. So by having them be closer to the camera, gives you more depth, which also makes the green screen process a lot better for you. All right guys, so we're just wrapping up here with the RTR Law Firm green screen shoot we're doing for the part two of our commercial. And it's something that I learned, if it doesn't look good while you're shooting, it's not gonna look good while you're editing. It's better that you have them do it a bunch of different times over and over again until you get the one that you're like, okay, if I saw this right now on TV, would I actually connect with that? That's what you're looking for. You need to shoot it that way because if you try shooting it and it doesn't look good, it's not gonna look good in the editing bay. So have them do it over again, have them feel comfortable. So it takes people a couple of times to really get into the flow of things. Let them do what's natural to them. You know, be receptive to different ideas if they want to try something, try it. Let them get in their zone. It's just going to help you have a better, smoother production. So uh, we're going to wrap up. If you have any questions, hit like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.